He's Come on. Chasing him in. Yep. Come on. Here, here, here. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Right here, right here. Let him get tight. Pick him. Go. Come on, Frederick. Hi, buddy. Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome to another one. Come on, Jackson. Come outside. Let's go, buddy. He's getting old. Man in the mornings, old Jackson. He doesn't want to get up. It takes him literally half a day to, to get up, his tail wagon, and get out here. He's old. Uh, he's 10 years old. Yeah, 10 years old, and he's showing it. But we are back in Kansas. I hope you all liked all of the Canada videos from Alberta. Uh, awesome goose and duck hunting. I mean, goodness. Uh, not much to say except for wow. Jeremy at 780 Outdoors absolutely produced. Big shout out to him and his wife and the boys. But we are back home. And he didn't behave the best while I was gone, let me tell you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So, first off, uh, I got a couple things to show you and tell you about. Three things. We got the boat. Update on the boat. I've been working on the duck blind. Uh, we have everything that Fred ruined and chewed up while I was gone. And we have a new surprise trip that you guys really are going to want to hear about in about two minutes. So you guys always comment and say, hey Bobby, I love your catch, clean, and cooks. I love the grill you do it on. I have a green mountain too. Well, look at this. Oh, yeah, so the bottom of these green mountains are open for some reason. And, uh, yeah, they completely destroyed. Mm-hmm. Little poop head here. Yeah, he knows too. When I go around that grill, he bows his head, puts his ears back. I've had a bunch of y'all tell me, Bob, look, lab puppies, they chew. It's uh, just something you got to deal with with them, right? Problem was, I was gone. When I'm gone for an extended period of time, he starts feeling lost and anxious. Separation anxiety is what it is. Still a puppy. That's part of it too. Oh, but check out what I've been doing here. Oh boy. You can tell I got all my parts on the ground here. I have been putting together the blind that's going to go on here. As you can tell, I got most of the framework done. How this works is it's a hinge system. So this whole thing springs up and comes down. It's got two flap overs to keep you concealed. I can't wait to get it done. But I am giving this boat away. The whole thing. The Mud Buddy motor and all. A lot of you guys know already, but I have to tell you guys that don't know. If you want to get entered to win that boat, this here is the October Ducks T-shirt of the month. Bam, the old wood duck. Oh, yeah. When you sign up for the Ducks T-shirt of the month, do you not only get a dope T-shirt, a different T-shirt every single month in your mailbox, but it also enters you to win this bad boy. Duck blind, light bars, aluminum trailer, mud buddy motor, the whole nine yards. The more months that you continue to stay subscribed to the Ducks t-shirt of the month equals more entries to win that bad boy, like I said. So if you want to sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below, as well as this dope new Ducks hat. Look at that cupped up bad boy looking good. So number three thing I got to tell you before we get the video going here is I couldn't resist. Canada just got a huge cold front over the last week. They got rounds of snow. But what's that done? That has pushed down a ton of ducks. North Dakota is loaded with ducks and your boy is not only going, but I'm taking the ducks crew with me, baby. We got Brad, the photographer that's always with me. We got Brad Schaefer, one of the owners of Ducks. And we got old Bond's daddy going. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys know Bond's daddy from all the Flares videos. We're going up to North Dakota to hunt with Dirty Bird Outfitters again. Old Nick, he's planning on putting us on some field duck hunts out of an A-frame blind in the middle of the field. So, it's bound to get crazy, y'all. When you guys are watching this video, I'm probably already there. Yeah! Like I said, it is the next morning. I told you we were going hunting. We're with the bearded man himself, old Jordan. What's up? And we got old Frederick, old Chewer McGee himself. Oh God, pigeons out front. Look, dude, look, they're coming. But a ton of dove here. Uh, that was the first little group of pigeons to show. They didn't even come. They didn't even check us out. Here's a dove right in front. Uh, probably spooked up a hundred dove just driving in and driving out of the field. But I wanted to do it. But, but I wanted to do a nice little dove slash pit. 
slash pigeon hunt before the North Dakota videos hit. I hope oh. you guys, oh, two of them landed 10 yards from the blind. I hope you guys are excited for the North Dakota vids, uh, but it is shooting light. It's shooting gonna, light. Yeah, I, oh God, look right in front. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start shooting here. Fred, you see them ducks, huh? I know I do. Check these ducks out. There's another group. This is all we've been able to watch is ducks. I had no idea ducks were even here. Oh boy. <laughs> Over a pigeon decoy spread and some dove mojos. So a lot of you guys ask, Bob, what do I need to uh, go duck hunting in the field? Not much. I mean, honestly, you could, I guarantee you right now, if, if these ducks were doing the same thing like they are right now, and it was actually duck hunting season, we could bring floaters out here, put duck floaters, a dozen, two dozen, on the ground, and put dove mojos over the top of them, and they would do the identical, same exact thing. Guaranteed. Yeah, that's a double. That's a double there, boys. Well done. Right before, I mean, they're staying that high oh, off yeah. the ground. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Three. They're gonna do the same thing. They're yeah. cutting in on the left side. Yeah, they're going around the mojo and then sliding in on this left side. Well, two down, boys. Yeah, you two got down. them, Webby. Jordan just had said, look, two up front. Um, these birds, it's so windy. It's gusting, I don't know, a little over 20 mile an hour. They're staying literally six inches a foot off the ground everywhere they go oh my goodness oh man and just like that we were limited and gone <laughs> more of them coming <laughs> holy <laughs> cow oh my lots of ducks dude oh my goodness well you would think that we got to push a ducks or something dude what do you think you see them ducks frederick huh you see him? Huh? After all oh, they want to do it. Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> These they were gonna circle even. Yeah. Oh my they, god. And they're still just piling well, up. Well, I didn't expect this. Oh yeah. They wanna do it. Woohoo! They're, they're circling. <laughs> Give me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> Like I said, this was not planned. I did not know ducks were even flying over this field. They're obviously not coming to it, but they going over it low. We're still waiting on the pigeon, boys. There we go. There's my two birds that I downed. There we go. Thank you, sir. No problem. Like I said, look at the backs. They are dark colored. If you're not able to find them, man, that's the reason why. They blend in with that dirt. What are you doing peeing in the decoy spread, man? That was a cool duck show, wasn't it? Shot a couple dove, watched about bang, bang. 200 ducks. My goodness. Nice! I got a mark on him. Nice shot. Well, Jordan got his first bird down. That's three down total. You gotta go trek through some beans and find this bad boy. Dove, dove, dove. Oh! No! There he goes. <laughs> Woo! I took all three shells. Dude, I, he was so he was so uh, tight right here. It's too close. <laughs> Dude, you, you you'd fly and by the time your finger pulls the trigger, he goes, "Yep." And dances up Just or dances little. down. You're dead, boy. You're dead. Friend. I knew he see I've been sitting here holding him for about 30 seconds. He's just been whimpering. He said, "Dad, I seen that bird go down. Look at him. He's working." Should be right there. He definitely seen him go down. Oh, he smelt him. He'll get downwind of them. There you go. They're small birds. Yeah. Oh, got him. Good. Here. Good boy, Frederick. That's a hard bird to find out there, buddy. He's dragging that leash. Good. Nope. Dead bird. Dead bird. Hold it. Give. Good boy. That's a good boy. You got feathers in your mouth, buddy? You drink. You drink. Good boy. He did really, really good there. Good boy. Hard birds to find out here. He, uh, you could tell he had to get downwind from it, smell it, and then come back up and find it. Nice. Oh. oh. Finish him. He did. 
Fred. Heel. Set. Set. Fred. I shot the butt end off of him. Yeah, you shot the back end off. I, I'm ahead of yeah. you, so I was like, Jordan shoots <laughs> first, and I'll back him up. Another one down. That's four for me. What do you got, two? That would be the second one. Second. Here, Fred. Good. Nope. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Hold it. Give. Good. That's a good boy set. What do you think, buddy? Are you just loving life? I see what you guys mean. Uh, the quick release still would be extremely handy. Just so he isn't dragging that leash around. I know in water hunting situations, that was a mo that mo my bad, my bad. Can't have a leash on him in the water. He could actually drown. Uh, but the field's not too bad unless he got snagged and yanked his neck. But the quick release deal, I'm going to have to look into it. Thank you guys for always giving me your recommendations on gear I need. Because you know, having Fred, it's been a whole new ball game for me. Well, we got our first two pigeons coming right down the gut. Hope I can shoot better. <laughs> <laughs> you take your bird. Or, yeah, there we go. Shoot him. There we go. Boy, I am <laughs> shaky or something. I don't know. Ah. Woo! Oh Fred. God. It's like I haven't been shooting in like two weeks. Yeah. I think the up north definitely helped me. Uh, old Frederick, he's on it though. Two, two pigeons down. That was pretty nice. Boy. Let's go, Frederick. Come on. Here. Well, that's one, dude. Set. Old blue check. Look at him. That's an older bird. He's huge. Look how big he is. Well, he chunked it. <laughs> that's a oh, big okay. bird. That's a real big bird. Fred, set. We got one more to get. Set. Set. Fred. Nap. <laughs> He's like, nope, one's it. I was afraid of that. Come on, Fred. Let's go find it. Here we go. This guy was hiding. There we go. That's a younger one there. Not near as old as the other one. A lot smaller bird. Yeah. Oh, they're finally here, dude. What time is it? It Wait. is <laughs> eight o'clock and these pigeons are finally getting here. They Usually are rope. sit. Do not move, Frederick. Sit. There is a big group out front. Oh, they're doing it. Take your just take your shots. You we don't have to spray and pray. Pick your bird. Go. I think I dropped three on one shot. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I think we yacked in the same one. <laughs> they might be coming back. Load up, load up, load up, load up. I just, I, I shot on the tightest area. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, they're coming back. Look at this, boys. Now we're just gonna spray. Yep. Let them ball up again. Maybe. Oh. Uh, some of them wanted that. Yeah. These. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. We'll smoke these guys here. Pick your birds. Let him come, let him come. Go. Oh, well, I'm being picky. Get down, get down. More on the way. <laughs> load up, load up. Sit, Fred. Sit. Good boy. Boy, that is. <laughs> here we go, here we go. The white one. Get ready. Or yeah, white tip. White, tip. white flights, anyway. Ooh, he's, got, he's real white, though. Take that white. Oh, nice. 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 Oh. Load up, load ground. up. I'm sure we'll be shooting again here in a minute. We got the white down though. Yeah. You, sh you shot him. He died. Nice. Woo! That was a good time. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to send you yet, Fred. Set. I don't even set, know how many are dead set. out there. Uh, I'd say there's because, probably 10. Uh, yeah. I think. How long has this clip been running? Minute 40 for me. Minute 40? Yep. Minute 40 long clip. Haven't cut the clip. Another group coming at us here. Yeah. When they, uh, when they start coming, I don't think they're going to quit here, so we're just going to have to shoot as many as we can. That was good stuff. If you like this video, you guys have to smash the thumbs up button. We've decoyed ducks. Obviously, it's not duck season. I didn't even know ducks were here. This is why we're here, for dove and pidge. Uh, I, can't, I, I really cannot believe that the pigeon waited till 8 o'clock, an hour after shooting light, to, to fly. Usually, they're here 5, 10 minutes after shooting light More every single days. time. This is good stuff. This is fun. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, if you like this video already, smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. Come on. It helps the video out a ton. I always tell you guys, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but I appreciate it. Oh, no. Ready? Go. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Did you pull up on the white one too? Yeah. We both shot the white one first. <laughs> like oh, they're coming back. Load up, load up, load up, load up. That's a big group, dude. Yup. We just got back to the blind. We were late getting in here, picking up birds. Woo, it's getting western out here, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> big group, dude. I don't see any color. Let's just let them wad There's up. Red one in there. Let them get tight. Pick them. Go. There we go. <laughs> As they turn, you just roll them. Yahoo! Set, Fred. We're not going yet. Set. Yeah, y'all. Dude. That was, that's fun right there, boys. I don't know if you guys are having fun watching this, but boy, howdy. This is some fun shooting. Here we go. Three. Oh, goodness. They're going to decoy. They're going to decoy. All right. Get ready. Go. Nice. I took that far shot yeah, on the left. I saw left. you swing over to I me. had to. I didn't want to cross up on you and turn no. with the long ones. Nope. I let you have that close one on the right. Yup. Good shot. Dead bird, Fred. Dead bird. Here. Good. Here. He's Come on. Chasing him in. Yep. Come on. Here, here, here. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Right here, right here. Well, this is good training for Fred. Uh -huh. Good boy. Sit. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Go. <laughs> Dude, that swing, you always drop one Here's or two. One. It's great. That swing is awesome. They when they dip out, they go this way and then they swing back with the wind and when they when they curve, if you get in front of the wad of them, you will just crush them. No, nope, dead bird. Nice grizz. Good. Give. Yeah, look at that pretty guy there. Good looking Chris. Oh, out front. Look, look. Look, set, Fred. Set. Get ready, get ready. Set. I took Fred off his leash. Hopefully he doesn't break. Get ready. Go. Oh, that was a big <laughs> swing and a miss for me. <laughs> right when I pulled the trigger, they balled up and they went bloop. <laughs> coming back, coming back. Good boy, he did not break and I don't have him on a leash. That's awesome. Good boy, Fred. Good boy, Fred. That's what I've been wanting right there. Good boy. Good drink. All right. There's that white wing there. Ready, go. I got the white wing. You just shot the one. Fred! Awesome, Fred didn't break. I haven't had him on a leash. Good, here! Good boy here. That's a good boy. Give. Good. Sit. Sit. There we go. Another blue bar down. Out front here. Sit, that Fred. White one again. Sit. That grizz. Mm, they're gonna come back. They'll, they'll, they're, keep, they're gonna come. Take that grizz. He's on your side. All right. Go. Nice. Nice. Wasn't clean, clean, but they're dead. Yep, they're dead. Here, Fred, here. Heel, heel, set. Fred! He didn't see them go down very well. That was good shooting, though. All three dead. That was that was good shooting. Good, here! That's a good boy. Here. Nope, dead bird. Dead bird. Give. Good boy. Frederick, I can tell you one thing. He's like, uh... He likes to go get one and come back. Now he's tired. He's got feathers all in his mouth. Doing the he's he's doing good though. At one year old, I can't expect him to pick up every single bird. You know what I'm saying? Every time we shoot, as long as he'll bring back one of the birds, I'm good with that at one year at one year of age. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment down below though. Tell me how you think Fred's doing. I think he's doing great. I think one thing uh, that he has to get adapted to is when he gets to panting, it kind of takes over his whole psyche a little bit. And that's why he'll only listen to me one go. On one send, he comes back and it's like, Dad, I'm tired and I'm done. Now it is warm. It's almost 80 degrees right now. It doesn't look like it because I have pants and a long sleeve shirt on. By the way, check out them Ducks long sleeve shirts. If you want one, I'll link them down below. But but it's like when he gets too too tired and he's panting 
he likes to kind of shut down on me so I think it's just warm hopefully with the cold weather he'll he'll be acting a lot better and not get so winded so fast for so long you know what I'm saying well we're all done here I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet because it's gotten windy and I don't want it just to be blown to bits here we go a little two-man shoot though it was really nice 35 pigeons six dove well what uh what's your theory on the end of the hunt here we should do it again sometime that was a good time that was fun dude we got a show of ducks in the morning to make you hungry and then <laughs> the pigeons came i mean they came yeah they did i mean there was what half hour 45 minutes of just go oh, quickly load yeah load come on yeah i mean i i ran through two boxes of shells i shouldn't admit that out loud because i did not shoot that well just shoot two boxes <laughs> I was getting a little worried. I found these birds last night, yesterday evening, uh, at about 4, 4.30. And most of the times when I find them in the evening, it's like, yeah, we can go hunt them the next day. Pigeons are pretty reliable birds. They're gonna be there the next day. They, they don't switch very often once they're keyed in on a field like this, a cornfield, a tilled cornfield. So it was getting to be eight o'clock and I'm like, well, we've shot six dove, Jordan, that might be it. <laughs> Let's pack her up and take her home. But then that first group, those first groups, you could tell they hadn't been shot at for so long because they, they'd pile up, they'd wad real tight, we'd shoot at them, drop five, ten, a go, and then they'd circle, and then they'd come back. The big first groups that came, every one of them circled at minimum two to three times. So that's where we really shot our pile of birds. That's where I went through probably two boxes. Awesome shooting, awesome practice before waterfowl season. It's upon us. And like I told you guys, I'm going to North Dakota. I'm probably in the, I'm probably actually in North Dakota right now as we speak while you guys are watching this video. So if you guys want to stay up to date with my North Dakota vlogs, all the ducks boys are going to be there. It is going to be a banger. Duck hunts only, guys. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting everything on my story. Just if you want to be behind the blind, see beh behind the scenes with the boys, you know. But thank you all for being here. Uh, we're up north cranking right now. So follow me on Instagram, like I said. Subscribe if you haven't to hit that little notification bell down there. It notifies you every time your boy uploads. But until next time, peace.